This is Hallover Inlet, located in Miami, Florida. A sometimes treacherous and busy waterway that connects Miami to the Atlantic Ocean. It has become a YouTube sensation for millions of viewers worldwide. Hallover is where a handful of YouTube channels, small and large, set out to document the boat traffic for a worldwide audience in the millions that is always thirsty for Hallover content. In the 1980s, Hallover was the entryway for millions of kilos and illegal drugs into the United States. Today, the traffic consists of multi-million dollar luxury boats and super yachts. For the videographers, it is a hard life as they must endure hours of being exposed to the unforgiving South Florida sun and rain while they wait for the boats that will thrill their audience. There are no bathroom facilities at Hallover for the film crews, and they must bring their own shade to hide from the scorching sun. A simple meal break could mean that they will miss the boat that will bring in the millions of views they so much seek. And then there's local government with code enforcement officers now prohibiting the flight of drones. Here, the Bell Harbor officer explains to wavy boats and Hollower boats, two very popular channels, they can no longer use a drone at Hollower. With expanding restrictions, bicycles are no longer allowed. This longtime Florida fishing hole is now closed forever. There's no fishing. No fishing in Bow Harbor. Family picnics can be a tricky thing to pull off at Bow Harbor. Over on the north side, things aren't any better. Miami-Dade County Parks charges $300 per day for the film crews, and the Miami-Dade Film Commission wants $100 every month, plus insurance. New YouTube channels face an uphill battle, as the YouTube algorithm will not pay them until they reach a certain level of popularity. And for now, they'll work for free. As the established channels get larger and increasingly popular, it is very difficult for a new channel to get noticed. <laughs> 